<laughs> oh, this place is crazy. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning guys, today we have an extra special episode adventure for you guys. As you can see in front of us, this is not Bumblebee. This is in fact a KTM Power K scooter. Woo <laughs> so this scooter is actually uh, owned by the owner of this place, Villa Maguela. He said that we could use this scooter to run into town, into Nuadibu, to run a couple of errands. So, without further ado, we are going to jump on and check it out. Okay, it's time to fire this baby up. Woohoo! Oh! Woohoo! <laughs> Ready? Ready to hit the road! <laughs> 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 it's a good change to Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> so this this whole area here is part of the complex of Villa Maguela and this is the exit and look at what's around. <laughs> sand <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> yeah, a lot of sand. Not a nothing. But yeah, this is definitely a different kind of riding to Bumblebee, I must admit. But it's cool. It's lightweight, it's easy. Yeah, so uh, this should be a pretty cool little adventure for us. So today we've got three things that we're going to try to achieve. And uh, what are those three things that we're going to try to achieve, Lavi? So at first we need to get cash because we have spent it all. <laughs> yeah, at the Moroccan border we tried to spend every last dirham that we had. But now here in Mauritania we have zero Mauritanian ugia, which is the local cash. So down to the cash machine to yes. get that. Yes. And secondly, we have to get our bike insurance for Bumblebee because it is mandatory to have a insurance here for your vehicle so we don't want to mess around with that we have to go into town and get bumblebee insured oh yeah oh yeah and the third thing we have to sort out is a sim card that we are connected to you guys <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. our moroccan sim card is not working anymore and we have to see what options we have here in mauritania so we'll try to get We'll try to get all of this sorted on the trusty little KTM scooter. <laughs> look, we've already got some uh, bit of sand on the road here. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah, we'll try to get these things sorted, uh, but also gives us a chance to have a little look around Nuadibu, which is actually the second largest city in Mauritania behind Nouakchott. So Nuadibu is just up ahead. So uh, let's head on in and have a bit of an adventure, hey? I'm ready! <laughs> <laughs> So 
we're coming in a little bit more towards the city now and uh, got five kilometers more to go oh <laughs> got some beeps and look how many Mercedes there are it's like every car here is an old Mercedes 300 or 1300 or whatever this one in front is <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is crazy. This is why Victor said that it was easier if we took his little scooter into town rather than our bike. Yeah. Uh, this is just more fitting to driving around in this place. Yeah, and also because it's quite hot and with our full gear on and everything, it's like it's not very nice no it's kind of nice to just be wearing shorts and t-shirt but that's yeah. only because we're reaching about maximum 20 25 miles an hour yeah exactly it's just like one step up from a bicycle eh yeah <laughs> salam but it's really impressive because most people here they speak arabic French and then they uh, have a local language as well which is called you remember I don't remember the name but I know that it's a dialect of Arabic coming from the same root um, but a bit different to Arabic yeah I think it's something with H has has seen yeah and then of course like English is I think quite common here as well yeah actually we've met a few people so far and they did actually speak English reasonably well yeah yeah so with our little French and their little English, it kind of works. <laughs> so there's kind of just a massive swarm of cars, of old Mercedes cars going yes. on. Oh. And uh, we've just got to kind of weave in and out and see what's going on. Oh. And there's a donkey trying to go. I'll let him oh. go. car has no headlights yeah <laughs> just, just, just cardboard boxes instead of headlights This guy's trying to turn, but uh, nobody's having any of it. Oh, look at these cars. Wow. I'm just uh, so impressed by how many old cars are still on the road here. It's crazy stuff. Okay. This is the life in Nuri, but we'll uh, check back in once we get a bit closer to the center. Okay, so we're coming up to the area now. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of the bank that he said. It was something with an S. Uh, it was called... <clears throat> I wish I could remember, but I can't. But he said it was next to an insurance. So it might be this building right here then. This green one. Let's have a look. Okay, BCMI, no. What's this one? Ah, okay, so this is going to be... Ah, yeah, here. Yeah, this this will be the one. Chingiti. Okay, so the first bank we went to basically just rejected the card completely. That was uh, 
that was this bank here, Chingiti Bank. Then we went over to another bank, which is Banque Populaire de Mauritanie, the first ATM. Uh, the buttons didn't work at all, so we couldn't get anywhere, but the second ATM worked fine. So now we're just walking over to the insurance company, which is just down here, and we're going to try and get our motorcycle insurance for the next week here in the country. So the insurance company that we were uh, going to go for, which was just here, uh, they're closed today because it's Friday, it's a holy day, the day that people are going to be praying, and um, they're going to be closed all weekend until Monday. So. Basically, if we can't find another insurance, then we have to wait until Monday. And we'll wait until Monday. Okay, so we're back heading the opposite way now. And we're just gonna keep our eyes out for uh, a shop that might sell SIM cards or people that might sell SIM cards. And at the same time, maybe another insurance company that might be open today. Although it's likely that everywhere will be closed. But uh, yeah, we'll keep our eyes peeled and let the power K do his job. Oh, look, G Gamma Assurances. No, let's check it out if it's open. Okay. Oh, look, another insurance. Hold on. International Travel Services Assurance. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, a couple of insurance companies here that we can ask if they're open. <laughs> Nothing there. Okay. No, both closed. So I think insurance won't be possible today. Mm -hmm. oh, but maybe we can still find a SIM card. SIM. See? Aha, SIM card this way. Way. Cool. Murtel, Matel. Le meilleur, le même. Le meilleur, Murtel. C'est bon pour internet. Ça connexion Angega. Oh, Angega. Okay. Merci. Chocolat. Merci. Merci. <laughs> So that was successful, hey? Whee! That SIM card cost us 200, which is about five euro. And that came with one gigabyte already on. And uh, we got them to set it up for us at the stall, which they did and it worked, it's perfect. And uh, we also bought a couple of slips of credit for another two euro fifty, which should give us another load of uh, internet once this one runs out. So you kind of keep the slips, the top-up slips, and then when we run out of data, we can just call the number, put the number of the credit slip in, and then we can add more internet to our SIM card. So it's a pretty easy system. Whoa, look at this. I think everyone's praying. Okay. Yeah, because it's Friday today, so Friday is the holy day in Islamic culture, Islamic religion. So that is pretty much it for our scooter adventure into Nuwadibu. 
Uh, we managed to get some cash. We managed to get a SIM card and some top-up slips for later. I'm just going to go around this donkey cart. Uh, but we didn't manage to get any insurance for the motorbike. That will have to wait until Monday now. So that's okay. We'll spend the weekend here at our accommodation. And on Monday, we'll get uh, the insurance in the morning before hitting the road to Nwakshot. So thanks everyone for joining us for this special KTM K-Power Power K scooter edition. It's, uh, it's been interesting to come into Nuadibu and see it and uh, chat to a couple of local people and uh, yeah, have a little look around.